Excuse me, sir. Please remove your firearm. I retrieved the money. No doubt Sir Robert will be pleased to see it again. I didn't come just for the money. The report you sold King was stolen from an MI6 agent who was killed for it. I want to know who killed him. I'm just the middleman. Take the money. Your last chance. Give me a name. You still threaten me? Even without your weapon? James Bond, Sir Robert King. Ah, the man who retrieved my money. Excellent job. Can't thank you enough. Sir Robert is an old friend. I helped him years ago when his daughter Electra was kidnapped by the terrorist Renard. Still, all that's in the past. Sir Robert thought that the report he paid for would identify the terrorists who've attacked his new oil pipeline in Kazakhstan. Then he discovered it was actually about the nuclear arsenals in the former Soviet Republic, so he turned it over to me. Something's not right about all this. King, the money! Here, take this pin! It was the detonator! Sir Robert. Oh. Hold on, sir. This area is sealed off. We have a hostage situation. I'm with MI6. Let me through. The woman you're chasing is in this station. Her gunmen have seized the whole area, and they've got civilians hostage in there. Even worse, we've reports of some kind of bomb. The whole situation is a mess. Keep your men at a safe distance. I'll handle this. Yes, yeah, sir. You may need this. Tell me who's behind this. I can protect you. Not from him. The money had been treated to turn it into an explosive which was triggered by a signal by King's lapel pin. Obviously, someone close to King switched the original for this trigger device, but we don't know who. There's more. I've worked out that the money Sir Robert paid for the report was exactly the amount Renard asked as ransom for King's daughter, Electra. The whole thing was a setup. Renard wanted me to bring that money back here. He wanted MI6 to deliver a bomb to King. It's a message. Renard is back. After King asked me for help, I hit it in his head, but Renard somehow survived. The bullet is still there, and it will eventually kill him. But until then, he can feel no pain, and push himself harder than any normal man. Now King is dead, and MI6 is humiliated. He's had his revenge. Not quite. Renard had three enemies in that kidnapping. Sir Robert King, MI6, and the one he hasn't touched. Electra. She must be next on his list. Electra has taken over the construction of her father's oil pipeline from the Caspian Sea. Find out who switched the lapel pin. If Renard returns, make sure Electra comes to no harm. M sent me because we're afraid you may be in danger. Someone in your organization is involved. I'm here to protect you and find out who is responsible.
My family has relied on MI6 twice. I won't make the same mistake again. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to check the upper survey site. There's snow and ice up there, so I have to do this on skis. I came prepared for a cold reception. It's too dangerous! Can't land! Wind's too strong! I'll jump. What's the point of living if you can't feel alive? This isn't a social call. Head for the gully. I'll lead them away. Go! Go! Alexa, it's all right. We're safe now. Good evening, 007. Electra's villa has a high level of security. Take a quiet look around and see what Davidov is up to. R is here to tell you about the security system. Apart from the patrolling guards, you'll need to watch out for the security cameras. They've got motion sensors with a limited range. Each set of cameras is linked to a nearby security office, so your best course of action is probably finding those security centers and disabling their systems. Be sure to get out of your room without causing suspicion. Take care to stay in the room, Mr. Bond. I would hate for a guard to shoot you by mistake. Expecting Davidoff, he caught a bullet instead of a plane. You can't kill me. I'm already dead. Not dead enough for me. I should be grateful. You delivered the money, you killed King, and now you brought me the plane. That bomb will never leave this place. Neither will you. There's no point in living if you can't feel alive. Drop the gun! Now! There are too many new faces around here. Everyone to the surface. You're an imposter. Dr. Arkov is 63 years old. Who are you? Those men are the imposters. They're stealing the bomb. Do you have a name? The name's Bond. James Bond. I have a present for you. Something that belonged to my father. He would have wanted you to have it. He often spoke of how compassionately you advised him during my kidnapping. His lapel pin? But... It's very valuable, you know. I just couldn't let it explode with the rest of him. Take her to the helicopter. Robinson, tell M that Renard has escaped with a nuclear warhead. 
Red alert. Listen, 007. M is missing. Electra King killed her guards and abducted her. Electra must have been in league with Renard ever since she was kidnapped. It looks that way. What is your current situation? I've overlooked one critical element. Beluga caviar. Quickly, sit over there and look happy to see him. I must call security and congratulate them. Can't you just say hello, like any normal person? Hello, Valentin. I need to know about Renard. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Renard is too dangerous to cross, even for the sake of our old friendship. He would kill me, even if he found out you were here talking to me. I think Renard is working with Electra King. They've stolen a nuclear warhead and kidnapped M. Helicopters and mercenaries! Lots of them coming this way! I see that I have no choice in the matter, then. I will make you a deal. Keep those thugs outside away from me, and I'll give you everything I have on Renard and Electra. My records are stored on a computer in the office of the fishery further out from the shore. I sometimes get hold of Russian machinery for Electra King. She's paying me one million dollars for a special job. My nephew Nikolai is smuggling some equipment to Istanbul for her. Electra has tried to kill me already, so Nikolai may be in danger. This is my business now too, Mr. Bond. This used to be a KGB safe house. We're trying to use the surveillance equipment to contact Nikolai's submarine. Submarine? What class of submarine? You call it, uh, Victor III. Nuclear. That's what Renard wants, the sub itself. If they put the warhead in the sub's reactor, they'll get an instant catastrophic meltdown. But why? The explosion will destroy Istanbul and contaminate the Bosphorus for decades. There'll be only one way to get oil out of the Caspian Sea, Electra's pipeline. I've got something on the emergency frequency. Two six-digit numbers, cycled every 15 seconds. That's a GPS signal. It must be M, using the locator card from the bomb. The signal is coming from here. Maiden's Tower. Bomb! I've got to stop bullying warning Renard. Drop your gun, or the lovely doctor dies. Zukowski doesn't like to be double-crossed. I've got a new boss now. Miss King would like to see you. Captain Nikolai. Sir, ready to load your gun. Excellent. Time to settle our account. Oh. The reactor is secure. Everything is going as planned. This is the end. No, this is the beginning. The world will never be the same again. I could have given you the world. The world is not enough. I'm looking for a submarine. It's big, black, and the driver is a very good friend of mine. Bring it to me. James, I can't let you take Emma away from me before I've finished with her. Put your weapons down, now. Finish him.
Welcome to my nuclear family. Christmas in Turkey. 